Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to see how we can use business rules to show error messages or custom error messages and prevent saving of record in Dynamics 365 or Power Platform. Okay. So in, here the situation is like, uh, let's say you want to add some validation on a field and if it is not matching the criteria or expected thing, then you don't want a person to save the record. Okay, let's say there is a date field which should have the future dates, not the past dates. In that scenario, if he's entering the past date, it will just throw an error message and it should not allow the person to save the record. In that case, we, we have the option to use uh, JavaScript as well as plugins. But the best solution is we can just go with the business rule as it is here. It's very easy to use and it has a faster implementation as well. There is no need to no coding, no real time validation, nothing. Very easy to use. In case if you want to go for the JavaScript or plugin, you need, you need to know the coding. You need to register the plugins or the JavaScript and there, there may be some implementation that performance issue as well. So just considering all those facts, here I'm going to show you business rules. And in case if you're new to the business rule, here is the Microsoft Learn website where you can just refer create a business rules, recommendations. So this is just for the big, beginners. And if you come here, you will be able to see that in case, let's say if you want to set field values. So let's say if the uh, fee, name field is dynamics. So you want to set some field values based on this. You want to clear the field values, set required, so and hide fails enabled. So most of them I have already covered in the previous video. Today I'm going to show some error messages. So this one you can just refer how to uh, create from the beginning beginning if you want to know and today's purpose is like let's say uh, if you want to apply for a leave from uh, 15th of april to 20th of april so here if you give a uh, let's say you are giving 15th of april and in the two date uh, an employee is giving 10th of april so it is he is selecting the previous date Actually, it should not allow the person to select the previous date from 15th April to uh, from 15th April to 20th April is acceptable. But from 15th April to 10th April is not acceptable. Same thing in case if he is selecting the uh, like uh, whenever the two, uh, two date is in the past or if the past date is in the future. In that scenario, we are going to create a business rule here. So here, OK, this is the this one. Let me just drag it. So now let's say here I have an account form and if I'm going to create account form here, I have already created a form and two dates. So here if I select, let's say 16th and here if I'm selecting two date, I want 14th. So I want to take leave from 16th of April to 14th of April. So it should not allow, but what it is happening, it, it will allow me to save the record which I do not want. So for this, I'm just going to create a business rule. So for that, let it save. Okay, it is saved. Now I'm let's go to your form here. Let me just go back and open. See, this is the my solution. And in the table account and form we have, let's go and create a business rules. And here, click on the new business rule. So here we have different, uh, see, you, we have conditions, we have actions. So conditions, these are uh, in the business rules, these are, the, the, these will be triggered based on some conditions defined by us. Okay. So it typically involve comparing field values or checking the fee, state of fields. Uh, we have different conditions we can check in here. Okay. Uh, so if you click and click on this, you should be able to see the properties and components here. Same way we have different actions. So let's say when some conditions are met, then the business rule will ex execute some specific conditions what we have defined. So these actions can include, let's say, setting the field values or making fields required, hide and so making read only and even displaying the error messages. So these are the actions and scope. We have scope here entity. So this can be applied at various levels. Let's say you want to apply it at entity level, form level, field level. So it ha it gives us the flexibility in the implementation. Now let's focus here. New condition. So let's give the name as check. Check if from date 
is greater greater than true date i do not want him to set the past values and it is contact entity okay and field okay account name no so uh, first of all i want to have it we have two date so first of all before implementing the business rule it should contain the value here it should have the two value then only it's going to throw error message in the from date so firstly i want to have the student contains value contains data okay so now this is done and i'm going to add one more condition here so from date we have from date should not be greater than not be greater than field and it is to date okay and i'm going to apply it so what it is saying if from date contains data okay once again it should be here from data greater than and equals to oh i have set it in the wrong value okay so first of all if it is from date contains value here okay and the second one is sorry it's to date to date it should contain the value that is to date okay and now here contains value and now from date from date is greater than field and to date okay so now if to date contains data and from date is greater than to date okay so this one is applied what i want to do now i want to show the action sorry i want to show the error message so just come here and and right here so error okay and the entity is account okay and i want to show the error message on from date so if i come here from date the from date cannot be can be in the future date in the future date okay this is done same way i want to check if the to date is less than so for that you can just come here components let's add it here and in this one let's say if check if if to date is less than from date okay and now entity okay so now i want to see first of all it should have the to date contains data and then it should also contains from date from date field so it contains data and now it should be let's add another condition here we have okay so now the yeah. to date here to date to date should not be less than from date failed from date okay let me apply so now let me explain you what it's doing is first of all it is checking the two condition that whenever we are adding this one whenever if a user is giving let's say he want to apply from 15th of april to 20th of april okay this is the acceptable scenario but if he gives 14th of april here it should show the error that you cannot have the past date same way here if he is giving let's say 20th of april and here he is giving the past date okay in this scenario also it's just the vice versa same concept that in both the scenarios is to show the error so now let's come here and save save this you cannot add an error. okay so here we forgot to add this error message okay so the error message so and i want to show it on the to field so to the date 
the two date can't be can't be in the past in the past okay apply let's save it now it's going to take some five to se ten seconds to process it and then again five to ten seconds to validate it so before that i'll just uh, tell you what is the advantage of meantime i'll tell you what is the advantage of using this business rules instead of javascript or plugin so first of all no coding is required just draw drag and drop you can implement the logic without knowing to have the code and all very easy to maintain just come here activate deactivate you have you can change the scope to entity form field everything and very user friendly everything is just built in performance will be better and in case if you want to add some more and more functions let's say you want to set the field value you want to set the this uh, from date as a required field then all the things you can include here and as once the error message is shown in the form it will not allow the form to save so that is a scenario let's wait for it to get activated okay cool now coming here So let's create a new one. Let me give the name as Power Dynamics. And let's say if I'm selecting 17. Okay. So from 17, and if I'm selecting 18th, it is working fine. Let's say if I go to the past 14th, it's giving me the day, the form date cannot be in the future date. And if I try to save again, it's going to show the error same way you can try the opposite as well it's it will not allow you to save the record so this is all about business rule okay and after this video i'm going to show you how we can create a subgrid editable subgrid so in case if you want to edit the value under the subgrid we have the, this account form and we have this contact let's say contact subgrid here so you should be able to edit all the value in the subgrid that is going to the next and after that i'll i'll show you how we can import the data from production environment whatever the test data you have to the uet environment or dev environment in case if the data is deleted from the dev environment in such scenario we are just going to import all the data of the particular entity from production environment download it in the form of excel and then uh, deploy it into the dev, dev or uet environment so just to know that you can uh, check it out for some time thank you so much if you have any doubt feel free to comment it